So we're continuing our discussion on the uh, specification sheet talking about teal small parameters. And next is BL. The B refers to the flux density that's in the gap and near the gap, and the L the length of wire that is in the flux field. So if I draw a simple cross section of the gap, we have flux, magnetic flux that travels across, and there's a little bit of fringe. The voice coil is wound on its former and has a number of turns. Typically we see voice coils that are taller than the gap, occasionally equal height, and sometimes even shorter. So the BL is flux and length of wire that is intimate to the flux field. The linear X max refers to the relationship between the gap height and its fringe field and the length of the voice coil or the height of the voice coil. So the um, we typically have an overhang, and if we subtract the gap height from the overhang and divide by two and add a factor for the fringe field, we'll come up with a linear x number, x defining excursion. There are other x max numbers that have come into play since Teal Small defined the original Teal Small parameters. So I won't talk much about them now, but I do want to say there are mechanical limits where you will have the coil would strike the back plate or the suspension cannot move any further, and there is um, an inductance limit. So our next parameter here, LE, is a definition of inductance. Typically it would be the inductance at one killer. And Thinking about the voice coil, it is an inductor. It's an inductor that is in a field around iron, and as that coil moves, its inductance actually will change a little bit. But for the specification sheet, we usually define inductance at one kilohertz. So next on the uh, Teal Small list is reference efficiency. This is a, a, um, an efficiency calculation measurement based on power in, versus power out. And it's a simple conversion defined in percentage. What we see in pro loudspeakers is a, a reference efficiency typically in the zone of one to five percent. In compression drivers, especially when they get attached to horns, can be considerably higher. 20, 25, and theoretically even to 50 percent efficiency. The woofer efficiencies are very, very low relative to many other kinds of mechanical devices, like an electrical motor that would run uh, at a steady uh, RPM and, say, run a fan in a furnace, which can run at 85, 90 percent efficiency. Loudspeaker motors are very, very poor. And there's a couple of reasons for this, but one of the primary ones is that the voice coil gets hot and it reduces the efficiency but mostly it is about the interactions of the flux and the mass that the motor has to move in thinking about a very large gap of magnetic flux that is not as high as we would like it to be. Sometimes reference efficiency is confused with sensitivity and I'm sad to say, sorry to say, even some of our spec sheets have a couple of errors where we have defined sensitivity and our reference efficiency in a confused way. We're fixing it as we go forward, but efficiency is defined in percentage, and sensitivity is, is defined in decibels, sound pressure level in decibels. So sensitivity should be written as a number of uh, dB SPL. We want to define a distance. Typically, we'll use one meter, uh, I'm sorry, and power, one watt. So you'll see SPL watt meter. This does not mean that we measure every loudspeaker with one watt and a microphone at one meter. But for the specification sheet, we will convert so that we have a standard and we can compare different loudspeakers. So, hypothetically, I'll measure one loudspeaker with 10 watts at 10 meters and convert that to what sound pressure would be with one watt and one meter. Or another one, if it's a subwoofer, we, we might go to 10 meters or 20 meters or 30 meters in order to have a very different kind of measurement. But again, we'll convert it back to one watt at one meter. So finally, we'll come around to Q. Uh, the Teal Small parameters have two Q factors. Mechanical Q we define as QMS and electrical Q as QES. And together, 
we sum them to have a total Q referred to as QTS. Q is a complex uh, topic. It's um, something that in uh, electronics uh, and electrical systems is, I would say, somewhat understood differently than in, in our loudspeakers, but basically the uh, Q is defined on the mechanical and the electrical interactions, and we will talk about more of those, talk more about that in future videos.